what's going on guys welcome back to another hashtag crypto video today we're reviewing bitmart one of the leading exchanges and i only found that out today uh, um they have over five million active users uh making it i think one of like the top three or top four leading exchanges in the world uh, i don't think they spend a lot on marketing but they definitely have the user base they have the volume i signed up for an account i reached out to bitmart they gave me a referral link and this referral link will give you a chance to winning a 500 dollar sign up bonus so make sure to use it it's going to be in the description below it will pop up in the screen throughout the video i'll be making a trade on it i will be transferring money on bitmart and most likely adding this to my list of exchanges that i use uh, i currently use qcoin bit and uh, binance and now the third one on the list will be bitmart i like keeping my money all over the place all i have to do is verify my account and we can get right into it all right so we're gonna go under account let's get our account verified the account level one is just simply your name address or i don't even think it was address it was just name and email and birth date um but in order to actually trade i need to uh verify beyond that so level one you can deposit withdraw buy and sell crypto but you can't do any spot trading so buying and selling crypto is through fiat spot trading meaning uh, USDT pairs or even token to token pairs you cannot do unless you verify apparently my verification has failed I don't think I even tried to but let's give it a try so we're gonna hit verify now and then on your phone what you're gonna do is simply click the QR code scanner top right corner you're gonna scan the QR code it's gonna pop up a few questions on the mobile app so make sure to download it and then you can select either passport driver's license or identity card to verify once you go through the step you'll either take a photo right on the spot or upload and once you're done uploading uh, your verification or identity card or license card or passport uh, it'll take you to the next step which is a selfie and then once you're done the selfie you're pretty much good to go uh, it should take it took me two minutes to get verified which is like super super quick once i've went through the whole process uh, it took two minutes i got my verification email and then once i refreshed the app um, it showed that i was verified now that i'm verified i'm gonna deposit money you go under account hit deposit and you will get this pop-up once you hit deposit i do have usdt you can do any other token choose what your income is and then hit submit and that will generate the wallet address uh, for whatever network so in my case i'm using usdt trc20 uh, i prefer trc20 super quick very low fees and uh, you're gonna just have to transfer it from your other wallet so i'm gonna use a trust wallet example and i put the wallet address and the amount i want to transfer and then that's it you hit next transfer the amount confirm it and in my case trc20 took about two minutes to get all right let's start exploring bitmart uh, in the event you don't have crypto already uh, i assume most of you do but if you don't you can buy and sell directly through uh, bitmart i believe their partnership is with moonpay uh, and most likely is what's supporting this um, so you can receive BTC, uh, Ethereum, USDT, or USDC, uh, among a bunch of other cryptos. So it, you can buy a decent amount of crypto and you can pay by multiple currencies, as you can see. Uh, and you can only, you can sell, um, but only to a limited amount of cryptos that you can sell for cash or fiat. Uh, so BTC, Ethereum, USDT, USDC, and BCH. So again, if you don't have crypto in my case we already do uh, but before we get into trading i am actually curious what you can earn so if you want to earn interest you can uh, not available to residents of the united states um, but it seems like they're giving six percent return uh, or annual return on usdc and usdt and three percent on btc so basically you're you're loaning your uh crypto assets if you have ape that's a crazy return and only for a three-day duration that's insane 150 percent um so there's some 
some good features. I personally never have done this or tried any of this on any other exchange, but I might in the near future if I have anything extra to loan out. Um, otherwise, you could also stake, it seems. What's staking? What are we staking here? Minimum locked amount. I didn't even know you could say. I don't know if uh, if Qcoin has this, but this is pretty cool. So you can lock it up for three days, or sorry, for a month, and get 4% annual return, um, and a minimum of 0.1 Solana. You could do Shiba, Cardano, Polkadot. This is pretty cool, actually. If you're into staking, if you have some that you're holding and don't want to sell, or you're waiting to sell in the near future, especially in this bear market, it honestly wouldn't hurt, I think. I think. Not financial advice. Um, I'm personally a trader, so let's just have a look at what we can trade here. All right, so this was the standard. Simple and easy to use interface. Um, doesn't look much different than Qcoin. You have the watch list, you have the order books. Uh, you could change the order books as well. We have the percentages as well. So although it says simple, oh my lord, BTC is below 18. Oh, oh it's crashing. I tweeted, I think this is going to uh, 15, 13,000 or 15K in the short term. Uh, if you look at the weekly chart, it's plummeting. RSI is oversold. So there's there's definitely room for this to drop. I'm anticipating 13 to 15,000, but we'll worry about that later. Let's focus on Bitmart right now. Uh, again, this is the simple view. It's very straightforward. Uh, you have your balance, you have the percentages, buy and sell. Uh, this is for BTC slash USDT pair specifically. But again, as you can see, there's a bunch of pairs and they're mostly red. Um, it's a very, very red day today. I'm not gonna do any crazy trades unless I find a really good opportunity. Uh, otherwise, I am most likely just gonna buy some things and see what we can do. You could also do advanced, which I prefer. It's bigger, you can zoom in a bit. This is more my style. The colors do seem off. I'm used to like trading view colors. Otherwise, it's fine. The fact that they use trading view is good enough for me. Just gonna move over to Bryze. Uh, I think I like it. It has, I think, long-term potential. I'm holding some. But, you know, in bearish market, especially if something's this slow of a price, usually we'll have a very, very good strong amount of, or a really good gain um, once the market comes back. So I'm just going to buy 500, try and do a quick flip in the short term. Uh, and then if I have to, and if it dumps even more, then I'll probably just end up averaging down where I can. I think, again, it's it's already bottoming out. It's been dumping for a while. So I'm going to go ahead, secure the 500 by testing out BitMart, and bam, that's a buy. And let's see how much we average. Okay, 0, 0, 003. So it's not too bad. I think 3, 4. So it's not too bad. Uh, the market order didn't mess me up over here. We're in a good place. If it falls, I'll just average down. We have 1,500 left. Uh, and again, BitMart seems like as straightforward as Qcoin. I think we're going to have to compare a few other things. Um, but I like how simple it is to use so far. Very simple, straightforward, uh, not too many buttons, nothing crazy. The mobile app is also the same. Um, yeah, let's compare a few things. I've pretty much used majority of the exchanges. Um, these are the three main ones at this point. I personally like all three of them. They're very similar in terms of uh, use. I did find BitMart was the least to have clutter so their mobile app is straightforward very simple to use less buttons than like qcoin and binance binance and qcoin have way too many options so if you're new to trading or you want something simple very straightforward bitmart's the way to go fees are a bit higher than the remainder of uh the two other exchanges uh it's 0.25 percent but if you're using their token uh, which is bmx you would automatically get a 25 percent discount um in terms of fees so just consider that Active users wise, it's in second place. Five million active users, which is amazing. Volume is higher than Qcoin, definitely less than Binance. Binance is, is leading in terms of volume and active users. 
Uh, however, BitMart has a significant amount of uh, tokens listed. They offer significantly more than Coinbase, Crypto.com, uh, definitely more than Binance, as you can see here. Qcoin is competitive with them. You can find hard to find like projects uh, that are either recent or are not on any other exchange for the most part. Uh, they list tokens like from verified projects, so th there's strict liquidity, uh, KYC requirements are involved before they list them. Again, really, really cool. As I was doing my research, I found that Investopedia listed them as the best exchange for altcoins in 22. Um, so that I think sums it up. If you want a place that has a lot of altcoins and lists your major cryptocurrencies, uh, which they have all of them, I'd highly recommend signing up. So again, use the link in the description. You will find a link somewhere up top that you can actually click on, uh, get a chance to win 500 USD as a sign up bonus. That brings us to the end of the video. I will do a follow up video on BitMart since I'm holding 2000 USDT here with 500 that I invested in Bryze. Uh, we'll do a bit of day trading. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I will catch you in the next one.